Hello. It's always weird to look at yourself in the in the video. Uh, this is uh, I'm up here in the North Cascades. It's beautiful. Uh, excuse me if I'm uh, looking a little peaked here. I'm just woke up and uh, also have my scrape. Uh, scrapes and bruises and uh, <laughs> looking pretty ragged um, but I am making some tea for myself and uh, this is just such a, uh, a fabulous area I can give you a panoramic view here You might not be able to hear it, but there's a waterfall just about 100 feet away. Um, not really even sure why I'm making a video, but just felt like it, I guess. <clears throat> Um, one of the things I did want to talk about is uh, I had a little bout of fear last night being out here by myself and there literally are there is no one around for miles and uh Sometimes I could be pretty unnerving to be out here in the uh, in the woods by yourself at night. Um, but one of the things that I I, I realized uh, that that really helped me was to be thankful. When I started to be thankful, it dispelled that fear. And I was thankful for the people in my life who are close to me. Thankful that I was able to, that I was alive and being out in this fantastic place. And the more thankful I became, the less fearful I became, until the point where I was enraptured with thankfulness and gratitude, and and even though I heard <laughs> bumps and scrapes in the night outside my tent um, I wasn't afraid <laughs> and uh, that was that was a uh, delightful learning experience for me and I wanted to just put this down, share it. Um, looks like my tea's ready. Uh, but I think this that can be applied. Just not doing this right. I gotta be a little bit more on the ball here. Um, We can apply that in everything in our lives. <laughs> Not just being alone in the woods at night, but thankful when your life is bringing you things that 
scary. Whether they're things from the outside. Or things from the inside. What I mean by that is... Uh, discovering things inside yourself that you don't like. And you don't want to face it. Um, the tendency to pull away and to not grow because of fear. I'm going to put you down here for a second. <laughs> uh, um, and I know it all sounds kind of cliche. Be thankful. But it's true. We have so much. So much to be thankful for. Just getting some some ashes out of my water. Um, and it's not until we face things in our lives, <laughs> overcome them, overcome them with thankfulness. It's the easier said than done, too. <laughs> and I realized that even if there was something threatening outside my tent at last night, <laughs> being thankful wouldn't have stopped that event if it if there was something that wanted to hurt me. Um in a physical sense, I mean. But I think that I'll, we are so powerful. We are so powerful that our energy, which is fueled by our emotions and imagination, we can change our circumstances just by how we think how we feel. That's what magic is all about. And uh, to be in a state of fear, I mean real fear, like, oh shit, why <laughs> am I out miles away from anyone else uh, completely vulnerable, uh, and so many things come into the mind of, uh, uh, stimulate that fear. But to have a, uh, a true grasp of at least for me thankfulness I couldn't do love love was, was more um, too big maybe but being thankful uh, really It really um, put everything into perspective on every level, not just the physical level. And uh, it changed the situation. I felt not just calmed with being thankful, but I felt at peace. And even protected, not that my thankfulness was 
protecting me, which I probably think it was. But I felt like being thankful, especially out here, especially being thankful for these wonderful living beings that surround me. The little plants, just the little plants here. Let alone the, the, the fantastic and old trees and the critters and uh, probably uh, the nature spirits and so forth you know all the living beings that are out here uh, huh. they protected me because like I tapped in to what they run on they live on that energy I mean we wouldn't necessarily maybe think of it as being thankful or grateful but there's a resonance in that I feel a frequency a resonance and being out here and tapping into that resonance that frequency of thankfulness it's tapping into everything else. And I am thankful when I'm able to spend time in nature all the time. Um, but last night was was a situation where I was truly scared, unnerved, and was able to change that. And I just wanted to share, I wanted to share that. Um, it's easy to not share things and just keep them. But I wanted to show how magnificent this place is. <laughs> when you look at yourself in a, in a, I'm able to see myself. It's like, that's not really what I look like, is it? <laughs> oh, the ego. So funny. But this is a grand, magnificent place. And I'll show you a little bit more later. Maybe. Thanks for listening.